Hi students, today we are going to discuss about post transcriptional modifications that is a newly synthesized RNA from double stranded DNA during transcription are called primary transcript that is pre RNA or HNRNA that is heterogeneous nuclear RNA. It is a product of RNA polymerase 2. They undergo many alterations and modifications which are collectively called as post-transcriptional modifications. These modifications requires to convert the RNAs that is immature form. The primary transcript is always in immature form which will be converted into the active forms that is mature and functional mRNA. Right? Usually this modifications occurs in nucleus only. So the first one is end modifications that is in polypeptide chain we have two ends carboxyl ends and amino end whereas here 5 dash and 3 dash ends. So the 3 dash end is polynucleated that is more number of polynucleated that is adenylate residues. A means poly A means the A denotes adenylate residues. Poly A tail that is a tail has a chain of 150 to 300 adenylate residues which linked by phosphodiester bonds. Okay, here the ATP is the adenylate donor. ATP only produces or gives the adenylates to the poly A tail in post transcriptional modifications. Okay, what is the use? What are the uses? It protects the mRNA from the attack by exoribonucleases or exonucleases. It stabilizes the mRNA and enhances the translation efficiently. In cytoplasm, the poly A tails are slowly shortened. If the poly A tail is completely removed, the new mRNA is easily as well as rapidly degraded. That is why poly A tail is very very important modifications for 